Hello all, welcome to Medical ABC. Today we'll be talking about the diseases of cornea. So the diseases of cornea can be classified into congenital anomalies, keratitis, then comes degenerations, dystrophies and ectactic conditions. First we'll see what are the congenital anomalies. The congenital anomalies of cornea include, the first one we'll be talking about is the megalocornea. So the megalocornea is a condition where yeah before i talk to you about megalocornea let me tell you let me remind you again about the diameter of cornea the horizontal diameter of cornea as we all know at birth is only 10 mm while a person by the age of 2 years will have a horizontal diameter of 11.7 mm so megalocornea is a condition where the diameter of the cornea is already adult sized in children less than 2 years. So in 2 years, that is less than 2 years means uh, it should be 10 millimeter. Actually, the normal uh, horizontal diameter should be 10 millimeter. But in megalocornea, in this condition, the cornea is already adult sized. That is already 11.7 millimeter or more in less than 2 years. Or for the people about 2 years, for the uh, humans about 2 years, the cornea will be 13 millimeter or more. So from this itself we can understand. So the horizontal diameter, if it is above the normal uh, normal length, then it is a condition of megalocornea. So in less than two years, uh, the megalocornea is told to be of the diameter is adult sized. And in about two years, megalocornea is when it is 13 millimeter or more. Well, uh, the cornea is bigger than, like, if, uh, although the cornea's diameter, the horizontal diameter is bigger than the usual diameter, the cornea will still be clear, will still have the normal thickness, and will still provide the normal vision. So everything else is normal, just the size, just the diameter only is abnormal in megalocornea. So this is a picture of megalocornea. You can see here the cornea is actually pretty bigger than the normal size. Next is microconia, so it's the exact opposite of megalocornia. Microconia is a condition where the horizontal diameter is less than 10 millimeters since birth. So we know during birth, this is a normal thing I've written on the right hand side. Yeah, so during birth, the horizontal diameter in the cornea will be 10 millimeter normally. Usually it should be 10 millimeter. While here in microconia case, the horizontal diameter is less than 10 millimeter since birth. So since birth, it is less than 10 millimeter. And this condition is not so common. It occurs only rarely. And in association with two conditions called nanophthalmus or microphthalmus. So this occurs only in association. It occurs only rarely. And also, if it occurs, it occurs either in association with nanophthalmus, which is a condition where there is a small eyeball and hence small cornea or else in condition of microphthalmus where uh, where the eyeball is abnormally small. So these are two different conditions. Nano is small, micro is very small. So whenever there is a small eyeball, obviously the, uh, the parts inside it also will be small. So just like that, the cornea is also small in the case of microconia. Next is cornea plana. The third congenital anomaly we'll be learning with cornea is cornea plana. Cornea plana is a condition where cornea is bilaterally flat, so plana, plane, so bilaterally flat since birth. So we know the cornea has a curvature, but here that is absent, that is bilaterally flat. It could be associated with microconia, so this condition could be associated with microconia. And this condition is mostly seen in marked astigmatism. So keratitis is a very big topic. It's a, it's nothing but inflammation of cornea. Uh, the topic is very big, so I have uh, concluded in a separate video, and the link will be provided in the description. Thank you for watching Medical ABC. Do like, share, and subscribe for more.